Sorry, all. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, a few people who I've never met before, it makes me very happy to see you all here today and to be able to welcome you to our wedding. Thank you for making the effort to share today with us. I would hug you all, but I can't because I have a broken rib, but the thought is there. <laughs> um, so instead, I hope you like the bee-friendly wildflower seeds. Yes. They're just a small token of our gratitude. And of course, the other gift to you is the fact I'm doing a speech, so you don't have to just listen to men talking. Um, and on that note, I'm not going to talk too much about women's rights for once, but I wanted to mention that a lot of people who know me were probably quite surprised when they heard we were getting married. And they knew like we didn't want any of the traditions, like the woman changing her name or the man proposing. And it's something I've questioned myself quite a lot. Like, why would anyone get married? Especially when I was like frantically washing jam jars at two in the morning. <laughs> but uh, after much soul searching, I know no why. Bunting. <laughs> getting married is the best excuse for the biggest craft project of all time. <laughs> so on that note, I need to thank Chris's mum and dad for all their sewing and very, very crafty skills in making today come together. And to my mum and dad for their woodwork and just all the help with the wedding and with everything. Um, there's a little card for you here. I'll just pass because you're just there. I'd also like to thank my amazing bridesmaids, Matthew, Charlotte and Hazel, and there is a present on its way to each and every one of you now. I don't know what I would have done without you all and uh, all your emotional support thank through you. the medium of about five million WhatsApp messages. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, I would also like to thank my husband, Chris. <laughs> I know it will drive you mad if people think I was responsible for absolutely everything because we did actually plan this as a 50-50 partnership and he had some brilliant ideas. Um, so that leads me nicely on to boring everybody with some details of our relationship. <laughs> so uh, we first met in August 2010 when I went for a job interview at Ofsted, hence the sweating in a job interview. <laughs> uh, Chris was one of the interviewers and uh, amid the general sweating and panicking and lying that you go through in a job interview, um, I noticed how incredibly white and perfect his teeth were. <laughs> and that made me really fancy him. <laughs> and he kept beaming at me, and I, I now know that beaming is his favourite hobby. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember telling Viv, my old boss who I worked with at the time, um, how much I wanted the job so I could pursue this hot geek with my student. <laughs> Sadly, um, it was only after we'd been dating a few months that I found out the teeth are fake. <laughs> so our whole relationship is founded on a bed of lies. <laughs> um, but we've now been together over five years and every day we have the best time together, don't we? Um, he really is my perfect partner. And I actually know that for a fact because when I was 14, I wrote a list of characteristics <laughs> for the perfect boyfriend to have. And I later found this on an old hard drive. And he ticks off the entire list. Even the really specific ones like appreciate dressage, must enjoy holding guinea pigs. Oh, and lactose intolerance. Oh, I really like you and we never run out of things to talk about. We only have to look at each other to know what each other's thinking. And we like fuming about the same things and <laughs> uniting in mutual hatred. <laughs> and, and I like you because we have so many adventures on our many holidays. And um, we always want to wander up the same cobbled side streets and inevitably get lost in some random residential area. And when I ask, is this the right way? 
you always go, well, it's, it's a way. <laughs> and it, it usually leads to an H&M in some European city. <laughs> Um, I also like you because when I have a cold, you always come in with a copy of Ideal Home magazine and pretend to put me in a cat carrier and take me to the vet. <laughs> 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 it's not physical, it's not physical, it's better it's just <laughs> And you always make me cups of tea, even though you absolutely hate the stuff. <laughs> and um, I love you because when we're together, good things that happen are twice as good, and bad things that happen are half as bad. And sometimes we have good luck, and sometimes we don't. <laughs> sometimes one of us breaks a rib a oh. week before the wedding. <laughs> it's always okay though, because you really like me, and I really like you back. And that's oh. the way we keep on going every day. 